So I'm pretty sure at some point in your life you went to an event or a party and the DJ there was pressing buttons but nothing was changing. The song continued the same as you've heard it before and you thought to yourself, what the f*** do DJs actually do? In this video we're gonna get into that because there are DJs who press buttons that don't do anything. Bruh. But I'm gonna tell you what we do and give you some perspective. So as DJs what we actually do is we play multiple tracks and make them sound like one long track for like an hour or however long we booked for. There's usually some tricks and effects in between but I'm not gonna get into that because it's gonna make the video unnecessarily long. I'm gonna demonstrate all of that using my Pioneer DDJ 800 which you can find in the description if you're in the market for a DJ controller. So in a typical DJ set there's three audio outputs. The first one is the master which is the one that the audience hears. So when I play the song, that's what you guys hear, that's the master. And then the second one is the booth output, which plays the same thing as the master, but the speakers are usually in the booth with the DJ, hence the name booth output. And then the volume of the booth can be controlled separately from the master, and it's solely for the DJ to hear what he's playing. And then the last one is the cue output, which is what I hear on my headphones. You guys can't hear that, and it's mainly for mixing. So while the crowd is listening to the current song, I'm listening to the other one. For instance, like this. So there's another song that's currently playing, but you guys can't hear it. It's, it's only me. And if I bring it up, then... So the reason why we need to listen to the song before you guys can hear it is that we need to make sure that the track aligns with the one that's currently playing. Because if they don't, then this is what you're going to hear. That sounds horrible. So when you guys are listening to the music and the DJ is moving this thing, that's because the song that I'm currently listening to on my headphones is either faster or slower than the song that's currently playing. So when I move it up, then I'm making it slower so that it can match this song. Or if I'm moving it down, then I'm making this song faster so it can match the one on this side, like this. So I'm gonna move it down and the song is gonna be faster. And when I move it up, it's gonna be slower. Right? And then sometimes you're gonna see the DJ do this. Usually when we do that, it's because the song that's currently playing is in the same speed as the other one. It's just that it's a couple of seconds ahead or behind the one that's currently playing. Without getting into the specifics of the tricks that we use in between, that's essentially what we do. However, some genres like Deep House and I'm a Piano have songs that play for like 45 hours. Bruh. So in that case, the DJ can break the monotone by introducing effects and stuff. Other DJs leave the decks entirely and start dancing and then there's the black sheep, the type of DJ that presses buttons that do nothing at all. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no. What the fuck, man? I'm just your ass on, bro. Because they think that they would look stupid just standing there while the song plays and they can't do effects and they can't dance, so... Yeah. Anyway, I hope you got some value from this video and if you did, consider subscribing and thank you for watching. Catch you in the next one. Peace.